If you think about dancers, they are really quite injury prone. It's not surprising when you look at what dancers actually do and the positions they get themselves into. If you look at musicians, for example, then very many instruments are asymmetrical. So you may be playing a flute, which is off to one side, or a violin, which involves movement of the neck and holding things to the shoulder, and odd movements of the arms. And many of these difficult positions lead to pain which is associated really with muscle tension. We teach a variety and a wide range of topics, such as musculoskeletal and neuromuscular injury, the psychology and the pharmacology of the performing artist. We teach about environmental, social uh, causes of disease, and we also tell them about disability in the arts. It's always a combination of flexibility and strength, so the big problem is the strength in the foot to enable them to go up on point and balance the whole body weight. The aim of the course is to give interested practitioners, uh, who are often also performers, greater expertise and understanding in how to manage individuals who have problems with their performing practice. I'm a physiotherapist from Iceland and I'm a postgraduate student at the Performing Arts Medicine program here at UCL. I've always been uh, very interested in, in treating musicians. My plan is to specialize in, in treating musicians and especially uh, upper strings players and string players with shoulder and back problems. It's a brilliant way to combine your work and you're lucky to be able to combine the two passions in your life, the work and, and the, love of the love of the art. I love working as a GP, but this is an opportunity to combine sports medicine, occupational health and psychology, um, really to, to help musicians in terms of well-being and um, continuity of care. So I'm really enthusiastic about that. We extend our teaching to the science of music and dance, and we collaborate with the Royal College of Music in London and also with the Trinity Laban Conservatoire of Music and Dance. We teach uh, the clinical management of the uh, voice, which takes place at the Royal National Throat, Nose and Ear Hospital. A lot of our teaching takes place in the Institute of uh, Sport, Exercise and Health, and we share a common interest with the postgraduate degree in sports medicine here at University College London. Our clinical and practical uh, teaching is uh, greatly assisted by the British Association of Performing Arts Medicine. It's an exciting course, still in its development, and we know that each individual gets something for him or herself which is particular to them out of being part of it.